Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul of stuff, recent eBay listings. Uh, the last footage video you saw was a rummage sale, which was the rummage sale from last month. It wasn't even the one from this month. That's how far behind I am. Um, and then there was also a tent sale. So a lot of those items have that I did purchase have already been listed. Um, and shown in previous hauls, uh, but there are a couple of those pieces in here. So when I get to them, I will let you know. So let's just get straight into the first thing that I have here. Uh, this first item is actually a flamingo. Um, this is by Brad Keller is the name on the bottom. So these flamingos, some of these can sell, um, really well especially the ones that are marked with this name um not sure why because there's other flamingos that look exactly like this that aren't marked with that name but anyway i did win some of these flamingos at the auction i'm pretty sure i paid five dollars for this one here and i have it listed as a buy it now for 39 dollars and 99 cents i got this yankee candle um, a Luma Lid candle topper. I picked this up at a yard sale. I paid $1 for it. It's brand new. It has gingerbread all around it. They're kind of glittery. Um, some of these, again, can sell well, depending on um, when they retire ones. You know, people, I just kind of cha-ching. Um, when people are looking for specific ones that they no longer make. Um, I have sold some of these before for a decent price, and sometimes you can find them rather inexpensively. So if you come across one, look it up first because not all of them are created equal as far as resale value goes. Uh, but this one here, like I said, I paid a dollar and I have this listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this next item at a yard sale as well. This is a Crinkles Fish by Patience Brewster. So you guys know I love finding this type of stuff while I'm out and about. I just love the weird, the weird thing. So this one is just like a large fish. He's got these big old feet. Um, his fins have music notes. It's really quite cool glittery accents and all of that fun stuff. Um, I paid just $4 for him and I have him listed as a buy it now for $39.99. The next item I'm going to post a picture of because they're really large. These are actually by Avon. They are, um, Mo like they're like motionettes um they move and you know play a tune and all of that good stuff um eric and i paid five dollars for those at a yard sale and we have them listed as a buy it now for 34 dollars and 99 cents up the next thing because it did sell this was for a vintage singamajig it's one of those weird toys like when you press a button on their hand their mouth like moves and they make these funny noises and sing um i paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale it was still on its original packaging and that sold for 29 dollars and 99 cents i had just seen some of these at the last rummage sale that I went to and they weren't still on their packaging but since this one hadn't sold yet I didn't pick them up so maybe I should have grabbed them I do that a lot where like if I have something listed and it hasn't sold if I see it again while I'm out I'm very hesitant to pick it up since I know I have one that hasn't sold yet and then it ends up selling and I'm like oh why didn't I just pick it up you know what I mean so maybe I should have picked those up um, this actually came from one of the last church um, sales you saw. This um, is a vintage, ugh, I have a nail that needs cut. It just got caught in her hair. That is the most obnoxious feeling in the world. <laughs> I apologize. Um, so this is a vintage My Little Pony plush stuffed animal. Um, her name is Moon Dancer. I have her listed as a buy it now for $22.99 and I'm pretty sure I paid about a dollar for her. I did sell my other one that you saw in one of my other hauls. 
Next item I'm gonna pop up because this already sold as well. This was for a Monster High doll of Torley. Um, this sold for $49.99. I've been selling a decent amount of my Monster High dolls lately, so I definitely wanna start getting more of those listed. Um, at one point I had gotten a tote full of them at a yard sale and then I won some at an auction. So it's getting hard for me to remember which ones came from the tote and which ones came from the auction, but I do have quite a bit more to get listed. Um, I have this, the packaging on this is pretty gnarly. Um, just because of the age, it's a little yellowed, but this is a brand new um, dollhouse, wooden dollhouse set. This is by Lillian Vernon. So it has all sorts of pieces in here. There's um, four chairs, a rocking chair, a baby crib, a table for the chairs, a dresser, an end table. So it's it's pretty chock full of some wooden dollhouse furniture pieces. Um, I got a tray full of dollhouse furniture at one of the last church sales I went to. They did charge me $25 for it. But there were some good things on there. I didn't list it all yet. Uh, but this one here I listed as a buy it now for $22.99. All right, this item did come from the rummage sale. This was for a vintage mud purse. So mud is a brand that was really popular back in the like early, early 2000s, late 90s, I'd say like 99, 2000, 2001 type of thing. Um, so I don't typically find this brand often out and about, but this type of style um, is, has definitely come back in popularity amongst like the younger crowd who kind of missed out on all of the good stuff back then. Um, so I did pick this up um, and I did list this for a buy it now of $29.99. I did list quite a few purses. I also listed this coach purse. So this is just a signature print um, shoulder bag. I paid, ah, I didn't write down what I paid for this. I think I paid about, I wanna say 10, no, I did write down. Um, I paid $15 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I also listed this coach purse. This one is a really large um, tote purse. So I really like this one. I mean, you can stuff this baby <laughs> pretty full. Um, I don't have written down what I paid for this one. I wanna say I paid about $10 for it. And I have this one listed as a buy it now for $89.99. I did just get this one at the tent sale that you saw in my last footage video. This is a coach purse as well. Just a nice like classic brown leather. I paid $8 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. This fossil purse I also got at a yard sale. Um, I debated on keeping this one but I decided to sell it just because I have I do have like way too many purses right now, but it's just a nice brown fossil purse with this fringy bit. It is a crossbody style. Um, I paid $5 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $34.99. And then the last purse that I have right now is this vintage Dooney and Burke purse. So it's a nice brown pebbled leather and you could definitely wear this crossbody as well. I paid $3 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. This item already sold. I picked this up at a yard sale. This was for a vintage Inarco Angel. This was a boxing angel. She had boxing gloves on. At one point they had come out with like a sports um, type of theme where all of the angels were like sports related and this was the boxing one. At first I thought she was just re wearing really large mittens and I'm like, why is this girl's mittens so incredibly large? But then found out upon research that she was a boxing angel. I paid 25 cents for her and she sold for $19.29. 
I'm also going to pop up another sold. Um, you probably saw this if you watched one of my cha-chings. I think this sold while I was filming one of my cha-ching videos. This was for a Philosophy body lotion in the scent Baby Grace, which is a harder to find fragrance. And this was a really large jumbo, like 32 fluid ounce bottle. Um, I paid $1.50 for that at the auction and it sold for $89.99. I got two more flamingos. These ones I listed together as the set. These two vintage flamingos. These ones are not marked. Um, I paid... I, these came with the single flamingo. So that goes with the $5. I paid $5 for all three of these flamingos. I listed these for $59.99. Um... They have sold, but they haven't been paid for yet. So, you know, if I don't get paid, they're going to have to be relisted. But as of now, those are sold. This gorgeous hall pink, like Aladdin style genie teapot. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this does have on the inside a... Um, like strainer a diffuser so you can put like your loose leaf tea or your tea bag in there to steep it in the pot so this is just a really gorgeous oh my gosh absolutely love this um i won this at an auction for 26 dollars and i have it listed as a buy it now for 79 dollars and 99 cents i also won this item at the auction this is for a fenton um hobnail opalescent they call this a squat picture uh, because it's just like short and squat basically um i paid 16 dollars for this and i have it listed as a buy it now for 49 dollars and 99 cents this um size these squat pictures were actually selling pretty well so nabbed that all right next item is kind of large but i'm gonna try and show it to you this is for an awesome wood carved mask they call these baruka masks um, so it was all like artisan made, absolutely amazing. It is signed on the back by the artist as well. And you know, you can hang it. I won this at an auction for $35 and I have it listed as a buy it now for $299.99. Uh, these masks can definitely sell really well. And this one is just pretty awesome. It's Kind of crazy looking with like the horns coming out of it and everything. All right, the next item is actually for a set of four of these snowmen. And I will try and show them to you two at a time. So they call these tumbling snowmen. So when you sit them down, um, it kind of looks like each one is in a position like it's doing a tumble set, basically. So there are these two. And then there are these two here. So these are actually by Arnell's. You can kind of see it there on the bottom. Um, really cute. I picked these up at a yard sale. I do think there's supposed to be five of them and there were only four. But I still think putting them all together, even in the set of four, is really cute. I paid $2 for the whole set. And I have them listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I won this Hager... Um, really large vase at an auction. They call this texture popcorn because it's got this like really cool um, textured look to it. And I just really like the style of it. It still has its little sticker on the inside. Just a really nice vase. Um, I paid $6 for this and I have it listed for a buy it now of $39.99. I won this cat at an auction this is by westmoreland so it's like a cat on a nest type of thing Could probably even use this as like a butter dish or something maybe i'm not sure but it's got this like lattice looking base and then the cat itself is really pretty it's got these really pretty eyes i just thought it was cool i had never seen never seen it before and it is marked with the Westmoreland mark right there. Um, there is one of the lattices does have a little like separation right there, but otherwise I think it looks pretty good. Um, I paid $7 for this cat 
And I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Okay, I got a couple of cloisonne pieces. Um, we won these at an auction. I think Eric paid $29 for the tray. And there's a couple pieces that I don't have in this haul. Uh, but the first one is this really cute um, cat trinket box. So it just looks like this. Um, I'm partial to this one. I really like this one. I have this listed as a buy it now for $22.99. I also, this was also on the tray and this one is in its original little box. This is a pig. Super cute. I really like him too. I love that design on him. Uh, the pig I have listed also for a buy it now of $22.00 and 99 cents then i have this one this is also a trinket box but this one has a bunny rabbit on with a carrot so again just really cute little trinket box i have this one listed also buy it now 22 dollars and 99 cents this actually already sold as well, uh, but it hasn't been paid for. So if it doesn't get paid for, it'll be relisted. But it's just a vintage flocked Santa Claus and he's on a base. And I'm not going to wind him up because he'll just sit here and play <laughs> music while I'm trying to talk. Uh, but when you wind um, up his bottom, he does uh, play a tune. So I listed this. I listed it on auction with a starting price of $15.99. Yeah, he only got one bid, so he sold for $15.99, but hasn't been paid for yet. And then I also have this dog trinket box as well. So this one was my second favorite, and then probably the um, bunny rabbit. So that one looks like this. And I have this one listed, again, buy it now, $22.99. I got this at the rummage sale. This is a Pokemon ornament. These were selling pretty well. Um, so unfortunately it didn't have a box or anything. It was just loose. Uh, but I did list this as a buy it now for $39.99. The ones in boxes are listed higher than that. Uh, this also came from the rummage sale. This is a little purple cat uh, ring holder. So you would put your rings on its little tail there. So no markings on that. Um, Eric actually put this in our bag. Um, I have this listed as a buy it now for $9.99. Um, this was the other philosophy item that came with the uh, Baby Grace lotion that sold. So again, this one, $1.50 in the grand scheme I paid at the auction. This is the Amazing Grace uh, shampoo bath and shower gel. This is brand new still sealed really large 32 fluid ounce bottle Have this listed as a buy it now for $29.99 This also came from the rummage sale. Eric put this in the bag as well. This is for a sun catcher It's of a cat by a window. It's really like heavy thick glass It's actually made from recycled glass and then it has a piece where you can hang it up at your window I have this listed as a buy it now for $9.99. This also came from the rummage sale. This is a Sanrio Picaco, if I'm pronouncing that right, um, little bag. I thought when I first saw this that this was vintage, only because I rarely come across Sanrio items while I'm out and about. Uh, but since they have so many subscription boxes now that cater to like, you know, kawaii themed things, um, like there's the Yumi Twins box, um, and I'm sure there's there's other other boxes that do things that have Sanrio related items inside. But regardless, I did pick it up because like I said, I rarely find Sanrio stuff. Um, it's just like a little um, wallet. There is, I think it would have at one point had straps to kind of carry it as a bag itself, but the strap wasn't with it. So it would have to be used as like a wallet or a like clutch. Um, got this at the rummage sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Um, this next item came from the auction. This is a Department 56 Snow Village of Starbucks. Um, coffee building village piece set. Um, this here we paid $67.50 for at the auction and I have it listed as a buy it now 
for $229.95. So this one is a good desirable piece as far as Christmas village pieces go. Next item already sold. Um, this was for an Xbox console. This one was like a special edition it was in a military green color which made it a little more valuable um eric paid 50 dollars for this at an auction and it sold for a buy it now of 150 dollars this this is a willie ray studio piece this is a baby jesus still has its tag on this would have went with a nativity set but i'm selling it as like a replacement piece um, because when I won it at an auction with some other Willie Ray items, there wasn't any nativity pieces that went with it. So I don't know. There's like a little, I don't know if this is a chip or just some paint loss right here. Um, I asked Eric and he said it looks like paint loss, but I'm not sure. Um, I have this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I put it on auction because um, I didn't see any... I actually didn't even see the nativity set that that went with. So I'm hoping maybe someone is really needing some pieces to the nativity set. Um, I got this item at a yard sale. This is for an imperial glass compote um, dish. This is really pretty. It's got this nice ruffled edging and it's got a swirled slag glass look to it. And it does glow slightly under black light, pretty much just this coloring down here along the base and the pedestal. So really pretty. I paid $5 for this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Oh my God, this Santa Claus, this is really heavy. This weighs about three pounds. Um, it's made of like a real heavy ceramic, really nice Santa Claus. Um, I paid $3 for this. I'm pretty sure at a yard sale. It is signed LR on the bottom. And wherever they purchased it before, they paid $59 for it. So it is a really nice Santa Claus. I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This bracelet came, um, this was in one of my jewelry videos. I got this at a yard sale with a bunch of other jewelry. This is a really pretty turquoise cuff bracelet. It is signed R R B P. And doing my research, it looks like the artist's name um, is someone named Raymond Platero, and his stuff sells really, really well. So I'm hoping for good things with this cuff. Um, I do have it listed as a, an auction with a starting price of $99.99. It currently has three watchers, and I just listed it yesterday. So I'm hoping for some something good out of that. We'll see. This at a yard sale randomly. This is just an old like enamelware funnel. I got it with some other enamelware like graniteware pieces that I haven't listed yet. Uh, but it does say made in Germany on the side. It's just like a small funnel. Um, grand scheme paid a dollar for it, and I have it listed as a buy it now for ten dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, the other stuff that I got the enamelware. Yeah, enamelware. She just bundled all together with everything else that I b purchased from her. Um, I got this. I got this at the rummage sale that I just went to um, this past Saturday. So you will see um, me picking this up whenever I do post that video. I just want to give a shout out to Allison here in this video. I ran into her at the rummage sale. I'm going to put a link to her um, YouTube channel down in my description box if you want to check it out. So it was so fun and nice meeting you, Allison. And I hope you found, well, I know you found your pan that you were looking for. Um, and I did see that you were going to be going to the thrift store. So hopefully you found some good stuff there. Um, but I did find this amazing, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I can't even describe this. Like, it makes absolutely no sense, but it makes perfect sense in the same way. So this is all like a plasticky, blow mold type of plastic fake greenery piece, basically. So we got these like toadstool mushrooms. We got a deer in here. We got Santa Claus hanging off of the chimney with this fake greenery. I mean, 
this is just an amazing piece. I, oh, I'm so excited about it. I was so excited about it. So I got that at the rummage sale. I'm trying to get my Christmas stuff listed. Um, so that's why I'm not waiting until I, you know, have that video up. Uh, but I did put this up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. I just listed it yesterday and it already has quite a few watchers and other pieces very similar to this have sold really well. So I'm hoping to at least get that for it, but we'll see. Super cool. All right, I got these two Hallmark um, snowman. These are those, um, and Hallmark has done this with quite a few things. They've done it with angels. They've done it with snowmen. They've done it with um, the Charlie Brown peanuts characters where they have these like wireless they're battery operated um and then they all play music and you know bob around dance around so this one was for um the snowman band she had four of these at the yard sale the one was missing its instrument so i didn't take it and then i also have one with a keyboard or piano but I can't get that one to work. So I'm down to two that actually work. This one is the trumpet guy. I paid a dollar a piece for these. Um, so $39.99. I have that listed for a buy it now. And then I also have the guitar player. So I listed these separately in case someone needs one to complete their own collection. So a dollar for this. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Eric found this really awesome um, candle holder. This is four candles. You would put them, these little skinny guys, in these pieces here. Um, and there's these birds all over it. It's made of like a really heavy like enameled metal. Um, he paid $10 for this. And we have it listed as a buy it now for $124.99. So they call this tollware and it's by a company called Petites Choses, if I'm pronouncing that right. And their stuff can sell really well. Um, this currently has seven watchers. So I do think it will go at some point. Um, Eric got these heart, um, these would be like something that you would see in like a doctor's office waiting room um he got these at one of the last church sales that we went to um he paid doo -doo -doo -doo, three dollars a piece for them so these types of things do sell i have sold um other like pharmaceutical type of um, advertising pieces so this is for topperol and it's like a complete little heart model. It does like open up and everything, which I'm not going to do. And it's on a nice wooden base. Um, so these do sell. I have this listed as a buy it now for $79.99. We also have this one, which is very similar. Um, again, paid $3 for this and have it listed for a buy it now of $79.99 paid three dollars for this one this doesn't have any kind of like um advertising name but again it opens up so you can see like the insides <laughs> it's so gross isn't it so i mean i guess it's not gross in in the sense but isn't it so weird that like this is inside of us right now it's just uh, it's mind-blowing how crazy life is and everything sometimes i think about it and it's like oh my gosh it's just so amazing to me um so three dollars i paid for that and i have that one listed as a buy it now for 39 dollars and 99 cents all right so that concludes everything for this haul um i do have two things one thing yeah two things um that I picked up for myself. Uh, the first thing was this Starbucks Veris, Verismo milk frother. So I've always wanted one of these. My um, coffee maker has a milk frother on it, but you can't take it off of the, the coffee maker. It's the dumbest design I have ever seen in my life um, that you're not able to actually like take it off of the coffee maker. So I've been wanting one that I could use to um, 
use when I make coffee. So I found this at a yard sale. Um, I think the man charged me $5 or less for it. So that was a really great find because I've been wanting one of those. And then also at a yard sale, I got three of these Bath & Body Works Black Cherry Merlot Hand Creams. These were a dollar a piece. So this was perfect. I have one for myself and then I have one for my aunt and cousin for Christmas to put in their, um, with their Christmas gifts. So, cause I typically always get them like a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works, a hand cream, soap and stuff like that. It's so hard sometimes to like shop for people anymore. It gets harder and harder as the years go by to find that perfect right gift for someone because you know, when you get older, if you want something, you typically just buy it throughout the year. You don't wait for Christmas type of thing. Um, you know, like back when Eric and I first started dating, it was so much fun to like look for stuff and to like buy stuff. And now it's like, I mean, there's still, there's still fun with it, but it just gets harder and harder every year to really find that perfect, like, they don't know they want this or need this type of gift, but it just is the perfect gift type of thing. So yeah, pretty much we just tell each other now, like anything that we are interested in. Last year, I wanted a dog and <laughs> I got her. So I really don't know what I want this year. I don't really need anything. Um, so it's gonna be even hard for me to even figure anything out that I want for Christmas. I'd rather just spoil the dog uh, for Christmas, um, which I already have. I got her so much stuff already. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.